Interstellar Booty Hunters has been its own independent small gang PvP corporation for about five months now. Of course, after many different evolutions, as you may have seen in the previous video. I was encouraged to come back to the game after a long break by the individuals in the MTG gaming community, namely Pipo de Yo Yo and Magpie. I had been bumming around various areas of Mimitar and Amar faction warfare for a while, and I had more or less put my finger on the map and saw that Ivati was not that far from Heck as far as a trade hub goes. So we had a pretty good time in Ivati. It was not quite as busy as, say, Amamaki or Gomuraga or even Sisi. And there were other small gang groups that lived in the area. So over time, we managed to rival those small gangs and occasionally beat them in small gang fights. It was a good restart for the corporation. However, about, I want to say, two months ago now, Fetid, the larger alliance, moved into Ivati. This in and of itself would be a bad thing, especially if we were a larger group, but I really enjoyed having fights with other small gangs. On top of that, had a death in the family, which pulled me away from the game on and off for about six weeks. Because of those two reasons, I would say the corporation suffered. I was ready for a change. And in spite of Pipo Do Yo Yo doing great on the market, selling his stuff to people in Ivati, I decided that we needed to be able to unbox and find the fight without worrying about the gate camps or be able to ship up without worrying about a bigger alliance shipping up ahead of us and possibly killing us. At this point I realized that the terrorist had completely, almost completely, left Secede where they had lived before and there was a lot of people moving in and out of that system. A lot of other small gangs and I could see GF and local all the time. This was also true of Amamaki, which was only one jump away, and it was in the middle of a large low-set cluster where there were any number of faction warfare plexers, explorers, ratters, things of that nature. That being said, don't come down here, it's a terrible place. If you come down here, please don't bring your big alliance. I had also discovered that Gehagen of White Moon Aeronautics had become a good fleet commander. Of course, he had been roaming with me quite often, more often than not. So from this, obviously he had been doing his own research and his own training. He made himself a pretty good frigate small gang fleet commander. This meant that both of our groups could get together and go and find fights and have fun at it. With EVE PvP, it is often the case that even if you take a small break or if you're not consistently practicing your hard skills, not your trained in-game skills, but your hard skills as a PvPer can suffer a bit. Just awareness, quickness, reflexes, trying to get that tackle, etc. I was a bit rusty, not as on my game as I had been before, although we did have some victories. This began to change when I got back into old school booty hunting mode, meaning just need to find some targets and kill them, and have started managing to do that solo quite successfully again. There was a lot of lag, so I've got in. Yay! But, um... Oh, I guess it's gonna be like a hill. Auto repeat on. Jesus. All right. Now, the question is, should I kill him? He's only three days old. Yes. You, you sure? It? Okay. Yeah. Damn right. You know, you've got to pay a lesson. You'll set. You'll explain in the video that you have of it. You'll be like that. Listen. This is what happens when you're a noob down in all in low sec. You will get caught. You will die. Like this guy, he will learn a valuable lesson. Do it again. <laughs> All right. I might have to reimburse the ship though, if it's like not 200 mil or something. Imagine these polyplexes. <laughs> just... It won't be full of plexes. Yeah, I know that. Okay, ship is dead. Kill report available. Let's see what's in here. Three mil. Ooh. No, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna reimburse because it's only three mil. I mean, come on. No, start a conversation with him. Start a conversation with him and say, I "Listen, will. mate, I'll tell you where you went wrong and all that kind of stuff." Well, 
I'm not gonna tell him where he went wrong, because that's just... Not unless he asks. Invitation blocked! Oh, see? See everyone. See everyone, listen. This is why you should never reject an invitation uh, from a pirate. Because they might just want to reimburse the ship they killed. Encouraged by good potential new recruits and people who were returning to the game that were part of the MTG gaming community, Peepo and I began to grow more enthusiastically. In fact, Peepo has finally started to do low-sec roams that are quite effective. He always had the knowledge and the skills. Confidence is always another issue when it comes to commanding even a small gang. Once someone has confidence, knowledge, and skills, they are practically unstoppable. The only thing that would slow him down now is being a little risk averse, which will not take long for him to get over. So between myself, Gahagan, Pipo de Yoyo, several new recruit candidates, including some that have had FC experience, things are looking up for interstellar booty hunters. <laughs>